allowing things to warm up pretty quickly today. We're seeing about a 30 degree increase, and that's because of that high pressure, those clear skies, allowing things to warm up pretty quickly. But as you can see from last night and all this week, those clear skies allowing things to cool off pretty quickly. And it's actually a pretty drastic change from what we've seen over the past couple days from cloudy and rainy to just seeing nothing but clear skies. And we've seen a pretty steady 30 degree change overnight from about hitting 28 degrees all the way up to 62. And then, of course, we're going to begin that cool down, touching down into those lower 30s again. But things are on the warm up. We're going to be touching into those 80s well by the weekend. And of course, we're going to be getting an extra hour of sleep as we roll back those clocks on Sunday around 2 a.m. Now, 62 and here in San Angelo, everybody else joining us in the same temperature range, those lower 60s and across the entire Concho Valley, lovely shades of green as everybody's in the same temperature range. Now, this is telling us over the past couple days, we're dealing with an air mass that has a high concentration of cool air, allowing things to cool off and warm up pretty uniformly, letting us know that the characteristics of this high pressure pretty cold when we're thinking about how much it's continued to diffuse across the entire nation. Now, when we're talking about what sort of saturation points it's pushing into, we can see that those relative humidity indices as well as those dew points are way down there as what we saw around the summer and as much as well as much of the spring. So we're back into this nice transition where temperatures are actually going to start filling much like spring as we start to make our way towards the end of the week. This high pressure is really going to build in from the west. As you can see 74 and 80 in Phoenix. That warm weather is going to start making its way into our region. We're up in the mountains. We're seeing in Billings and Denver. They're already in those 50s well off to the east they're still dealing with that cold pocket of air but of course down in florida they're down into the 60s now they're set to set even colder temperatures down into those mid 60s by the end of this week so quite the opposite of what we're dealing with here the upper level pattern is going to continue to give people some trouble as we watch those calmer conditions really build in from the west but steve and i were talking about the size of this storm watch it move in offshore we're talking about another atmospheric river that could pull a lot more moisture at least not cooler temperatures into our region a lot more gradual than we saw last week where it was much more drastic still hanging Hanging out off the East Coast, dropping those temperatures into those cooler ranges. Now, over the next couple days, we're watching that cold air kind of push out, but that moisture make its way back in from the south over the Concho Valley. That's what's going to warm things back up into those 80s again, feeling more like spring. If you haven't seen it already, everybody out there along the loop mowing and taking care of those cars, now's a good opportunity to go out there and go ahead and wash things off, get ready for the Halloween decorations to come down and the fall decorations to go back up for Thanksgiving. At least for me, I've already set up the tree. We're going to continue to watch those high pressure really push off to the east. Look at that unique cloud formation down to the south. And then over the next couple of days, that's what we're going to just continue to see as these clouds hold off under that cold, clear conditions. And then as we start to make our way towards Friday, we could see a little bit of cloud cover make its way into our area, but nothing that's going to cause any rain as it continues to push off pretty quickly to the east. Still seeing cool, clear, calm conditions well into the weekend where we're going to start touching up into those 80 degrees again. So it's going to be a great kickoff. Going to be great conditions for Saturday. So again, tonight dropping down back into those colder temperatures, pretty frigid in my opinion. And then we're right back up into those 60s again tomorrow, back up into those 60s, upper 60s, going to be pretty comfortable. And then even tomorrow, going to be even warmer by kickoff. We're sitting in those upper 70s with those lows still touching down into those 50s. In my opinion, pretty comfortable. By Sunday, we get that hour back. We're already sitting down into those 80s and those 50s. By the beginning of that second week of November, we're already back into those mid 80s, believe it or not, while those lows are hanging down into those upper 50s, if not pushing those lower 60s. But stay tuned. We'll have more up to the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.